got a freshly charged battery and it won't start your car? How frustrating is that? I've got a tester. Welcome to VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. I buy a lot of cars and uh, sometimes they come with batteries, sometimes they don't. And I just uh, bought this really nice ProLogix uh, charger so I can charge multiple batteries. Uh, it turns out though, sometimes I put a battery in car and it doesn't work. So I need a way to test it. This I've had for about 30 years. I think it's more like 40 years old. Might have been my dad's. Uh, and basically what it does is it gives a load by heating up these uh, wires. And as much as I enjoy the smell of burning dust every time I want to check a battery, I decided to get something a little more modern. So uh, just so happened that uh, King Bolin actually emailed me and said, hey, we have a battery tester. You want to try it out? And I'm like, heck yeah, I want to try it out. So let's try it out on these things and see how it works. Now, all these batteries are in different states of charge. And basically the way this thing works is uh, you clip it onto the battery you want to test. Once you do that, uh, if it doesn't, that's a dead battery. Let's try one other one. Here we go. Clip it onto a battery you want to test. It lights up. It reads the battery and see how it tells you 12 volts. We know that's okay. We select it. Now it's going to give me the cold cranking app. So quick look at our Battery tells us that it has 550 cranking amps, so you readjust it to 550, and then hit OK, and it performs the test. No smell of burning dust, and we get our reading right there. This would be normal. Right now, the battery's a little bit used, it's, uh, probably about two years old. Still got 364 cold cranking amps, so that's good. I have this Optima battery. Got it about five years ago, and the project car it was supposed to go in, unfortunately, never got built, so it just sat there. So let's see if it's okay. One on the negative, one on the positive. We get our 12 volt selection, we hit okay. Optimus have a little bit less cranking amps, so this one has 450, so let's adjust it down to 450. And hit okay. five cold cranking apps. That explains why it didn't work, work when we put it in the car. This charger is going to go to my brother because he rebuilds Corvettes and I think that technology works a little bit better for him. King Bolin, thank you very much for this. Works great. Hey guys, we're going to be doing more product tests for our three minute Thursday. As a matter of fact, this is going to be on our Amazon affiliate page. So if you're interested in it, you can click on the link below in the description. Please think about liking and subscribing, and uh, if you want to have notifications when we have a video out, hit the bell. Anyways, thank you for joining me, and we'll talk to you later.